first of all you second of all you party i know somebody will report this video if i show my crusty ass lip <laughs> i'm excited for me bitch <laughs> basically my house help didi just came can we just social distance for a little bit <laughs> <clears throat> I don't want to kill people through my reviews. This makes my lip look fuller right here. The base started falling off. Oh my god, I should have reviewed this on the Valentine's Day. There are so many hearts as well as heartbreaks. Intimidating. Yeah. We are in this mess together. Okay. I am a brown ho. Hello people, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Shubhanki. In today's video, I'm going to do another affordable makeup review, try on, whatever you want to call it. Today, I actually have only two brands, but lot of products multiple products from these two brands they are quite quite affordable you guys know me i am the affordable person on the internet i shouldn't have said that there are quite a lot of people i think all the products are below 200 uh, 250 to be on the safer side so yeah they are quite quite affordable and yeah i'm so excited for today's video as always i'm excited for each and every video because there's something new or exciting in each video or Maybe there is nothing. Everything is boring. I am the exciting person. Okay? That's why I'm excited. I'm excited for me, bitch. <laughs> anyway, so what I was telling is that I have a product in this video which is like a hidden gems. I mean, you guys know, I call products hidden gems only when they are not quite accessible, not very common, not all people know about this, but they are hella good, good quality and most important, very, very affordable. Maybe it's confusing. I'm going to give you guys an example. For example, you guys wear these hidden gems products and go out a party and somebody points out that, ooh, I love these things. And you'll be like <laughs> that's my chanel foundation uh, but you deep down know that's your hidden gems and you don't want to say about it or maybe you do because you have a great heart like me <laughs> because whenever this situation comes to me i always give out the product details and tell them uh you know what it may not work for you it's a really affordable product but may not suit your skin type you know what you should do watch my review like share subscribe uh, <laughs> that's my strategy okay so let's keep all those things aside let's get started also if you are thinking like what is this hair situation yeah i know i should stop tying up my hair while sleeping this is what happens after you get up yeah deal with it deal with it i'm dealing with it too let me just tell you guys i'm not alone in this video i have a guest i have a new friend here that has come very recently just say hi to my new friend people yeah this bitch i mean i'm gonna tell you she's just here for the aesthetics she doesn't give me any pain so yeah i'm gonna stop talking shit let's get started with today's video but before that you know the drill like share comment subscribe let's go okay so i went ahead and put on my orange color corrector because i have a concealer to review and i did not tell you guys because well we are not friends after all ah. what you think we are no you're not you didn't subscribe look at your subscribe button then it's still red why didn't it turn white if you want to be my friend make the subscribe button white okay <laughs> just subscribe please so the first product of this try on review video is this one now apparently i think i was living under a rock because i didn't know about this concealer this is mars blossom concealer why did i not know about it you guys know i was so impressed with the mars tube formula but the other day i was looking through mars website for any new launch then i came across this old shit and instantly bought it i'm so excited to try it and figure out how is the formula what's the difference from the tube formula i mean the still the deal formula i'm so excited to try this one so this retails for 249 and i got the shade warm sand 03 and i really don't know is it my shade or not it's always a trial and error well at least for me okay this is going to be my first first impression i have never tried this on i mean this is totally sealed i need to open the seal right with you guys so oh okay so this looks like this now this range this blossom range has got a foundation as well i did not try it and did not buy it as well i don't know why i think the big bottle felt a little intimidating for my messy finger i may break it so that's why i didn't get it if you want me to review that as well comment down below what's the job of the comment section if you don't tell me what you want so it has no like big big claims written over here apparently recent mars products does have a lot of big big claims written on the front of the packaging so i think this is a really old concealer so the description however has got a little bit of claims going on i'm gonna read it out for you guys so it's a lightweight concealer medium to full coverage dewy finish easy to blend doesn't crease one set okay that's a great point let me try this on right now by the way i really like this silver coating over here i mean this design this strap it gives a little luxe vibe to this whole bottle i like it so this is a uh, wand applicator i like it i i you know guys still the real concealer though it was a really good formula but i feel very inconvenient to use it on a daily life when i'm rushing out of the door which is like 90 percent of the time that time i freaking have no patience to like press 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 and take the product out from a tube so this is really helpful for my impatient impulsive ass let's apply okay i think this is going to be a highlighting shade for me but i think i have figured out the undertone it's warm i feel the consistency is not thick i mean it has kind of a swiss beauty consistency but mars silderil concealer has a thicker consistency so this one is a little bit thin also it feels like it is going to be really good 
Okay, so that's just one dip. I did not take the second time and I don't intend to as well. So pretty much I look like I bathed in concealer. So let's now blend this. As always, I'm gonna start from my chin. It's blending nicely. Ooh, it has got coverage, people. I think so. Though don't quote me right now. I wanna blend everything. I have applied so much. If this works out good, I'm not going to put any foundation. Can you see that area? It does have coverage. It says it's medium to full. I, I think it's not full at all. It's kind of medium, like sheer to medium. I mean, you can see all my scars are still visible, but it is evening out my complexion. You cannot see the hyperpigmentation here, but you can see my like deep, deep acne scars. But so far, I am kind of liking it. It's kind of feeling lightweight as well. You can see this new friend over here. <laughs> it's very like new and active, so it's not purplish and it still did not form any scars. That's why it has gotten fully concealed. So it has got coverage, but not full coverage at all. If I build it up, maybe it will turn out full coverage. I don't know. I haven't tried it out. Yeah, it definitely does have a lot more coverage than any sheer uh, formula. It does have medium coverage. You can literally see things over here, here. It did hold certain coverage. Let's see this part. Ooh, I had two pimples. Over here, two scars over here. But if you like closely look at it, you can slightly figure out there is a scar underneath, like acne scars. Lightly, there's like a little impression still here peeping out. So it's like medium coverage. You literally can see these three scars. They are super, super pigmented. Now let me blend this area because it is the determining step. Ooh, so it does have medium coverage. Also, it was easy to blend, but since I kept it for a little longer time, it is becoming a little tiny, tiny bit difficult to blend because obviously the formula has become a little tacky, as I tell you guys always, but it's still good. I mean, can you look at it? Just look here. It, it is not concealed. I can see the dark circles like it's still like lightly visible. So it's kind of medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's a sheer coverage because, well, can you see this thing? This thing? This thing? Because of that, I can't say that. Five minutes later. Okay. Okay. Okay, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I was looking and telling you guys about the whole thing by looking at my viewfinder, if that makes sense. So I think camera does have a viewfinder. My, my screen, my phone screen. I was looking at it and telling you guys it looks like a medium coverage thingy. But as I was talking in my previous clip, I just moved like this and looked myself on the mirror. I have a ginormous mirror over here, full length. So it looks so different in real life and on camera you guys have no freaking idea i just want to change my statement i i'm going to say that till now this concealer formula looks like a sheer coverage formula sheer to medium coverage formula not even fully medium i'm gonna tell you guys why my skin my face when i look in the mirror in real life it looks so red wherever i have put the red orange color corrector it's, it's i can see that it's like still visible even after applying the concealer. I am telling sheer to medium is because that could be a reason I have put up a little too much. Orange color corrector, that could be a reason. So I'm giving a benefit of the doubt. But I know it isn't because this is my regular calm, you know, putting up an orange color corrector. It's like I have been living with a dark circle for so long that I can put orange color corrector, the right amount of orange color corrector, even with my eyes closed, even while sleeping. So, but still I'm going to give benefit of the doubt because I have a big heart and I want to give chance. I see good in people. So I want to give a second chance to this concealer. Yeah, anyway, that started to become too personal. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly, quickly blend this region and apply a second layer and if still it is like not good enough yeah you can skip this one I feel you have still the deal that's far better I feel if it doesn't work it is giving me coverage only when I'm keeping it for the longer time like this part or like this part here but if you blend the moment you put it it is not going to give you much coverage it is going to be very sheer cheers to the second layer I don't know whoever said what about this concealer. For me, on my face, who has a lot of hyperpigmentation, a lot of dark scars, for me, it is getting to a point, sort of medium coverage, I would say. Like, I think from sheer, it is becoming kind of medium coverage. So if you don't have deep scars, dark acne scars, dark circles, hyperpigmentation around your mouth, you can go for this one. Otherwise, if you're like me, I would say this is not your best option. You can find a lot good things at a much cheaper rate. After blending the whole thing, now it looks like a medium coverage on my eyes. Building up does give a lot more coverage than the first layer. I would say that, but obviously it is creasing, so I'm gonna set. Put on a foundation, I definitely need, I think, of some foundation. So yeah, I'm gonna do everything, set everything, and then come back with a base. 
also get excited because i have the hidden gems product right after this okay listen this is like an hour later <laughs> basically my house help didi just came in between my shoot what can i do hashtag reality initially i was like very irritated and annoyed why this time but everything happens for a reason that's because i got the time to check out this like this can you see this like can you see this oh my god that's so prominent i have never seen my creasings so prominent so visible on my hd quality phone camera can you see that this stripes over here and the lid creasing <clears throat> I have set with a powder that is my go-to, which works best on my skin, and this happened with that powder too. So like, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Never mind. Just keep this concealer. I feel. Though this product kind of failed. Next product, you people. I know it is going to be a hit, hit, hit because I have tried it out, and of course I don't feel guilty because I was waiting for this product to get delivered, and I can hold it, apply it on my face. So literally, the moment it got delivered, I cracked open everything and applied it. So yeah, people, get excited. It is a good, good product. So. Let me introduce you guys the important product, the important hidden gem product of this video. Ta da! This one. So this is basically a Mars product as well. But obviously, you guys know I have a superpower of finding things. So I got this product on Amazon while searching, randomly searching. I freaking keep doing that all the time. This is a Mars palette. It's called Little Three in One Blush Palette. Three in one because it has blusher, highlighter, and eyeshadow. I only tried the blush, so. We are going to figure out the highlighter and the eyeshadow situation. Can you just please don't? <laughs> can we just social distance for a little bit? Okay. Now, uh, first of all, <laughs> why this word make me remember the dialogue? First of all, you. Second of all, you. What a random thing to say in between a serious, serious video. Hashtag unprofessional. Anyway, so I was telling you guys about this little, little cute, cute heart. How pretty are they? This made me. Whole lot emotional and impulsive to click on the add to cart button while seeing this product. So let's open this. I know you guys are screaming and telling me, Shubhanki, why don't you open it? Stop your mouth. Stop. Just shut up. I know you guys are saying that it retails for according to the packaging, the MRP it retails for two ninety nine. But I literally got it. I think it was one sixty nine. So basically, the product looks like this. These are so pretty. Oh my god! I should have reviewed this on the Valentine's Day. There are so many hearts as well as heartbreaks. <laughs> so there are like. Six shades. This one is blush. It is written over here, which is so good. I love it. Blush, blush, blush. So these three are the blushes. This one is eyeshadow. That's a, like a, a a little bit foil, shimmery eyeshadow. And this is another blush. So so four blushes in there. And this one is highlighter. So let me show you my most exciting product of this video. Oh my god, I freaking love this one. This looks so pretty. I love it. Also, let me tell you. Do you want to guess why I chose this T-shirt for today's video? Yeah, exactly right. To complement my star product. This is, I think, the shade one or two. The, the shade two. The shade one was a peachy palette. Yeah, a full hell lot of peach shades. There was a freaking whole lot of peach shades available, but I picked this one. I picked pink over peach. Can you believe that? I I don't believe myself. I I mean, how could I do that? Because I'm unpredictable. I did try out these two shades basically, not all the other shades. So going to try it now. And also another important thing is that I freaking had to pay a delivery charge for this one. The delivery charge was like seventy four ish or five ish rupees, but if I add the delivery charge and the discounted price, it's kind of like the MRP. So yeah, let's figure out whether this is worth it or not. People, I'm literally confused. I thought I'm gonna apply all the blushes, but literally I have four blushes. This is like a, a dark peach brownish. Peach color and this one is a dirty pink color. Like imagine a pink shirt and then imagine it is dirty. So this is that color. Now we have two more blushes. So I don't know which one from these four I'm gonna use, but this highlighter makes me laugh. How will I apply this highlighter on my face? <laughs> I have no idea. So final decision, I'm gonna apply all four of them. Two, two pinkish on this side, two peachish sort of on this side. And don't you dare laugh at me. We are in this mess together. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the lighter version. So this is the dirty pink shirt we have. So I'm going to take this. And it looks like this. It looks pigmented. So I'm gonna start pressing it. Oh, I can see the pinkish sort of color. Oh, in real life, it it is too pigmented. Why my freaking camera doesn't pick it up? Color is really pretty. This dirty pink sort of mauveish sort of color. The Wet and Wild Mellow Wine is sort of like this color, a little darker. So I'm gonna now apply this peachish shade. Okay, now this is a little darker, and hence the color is a lot more visible on the brush. Wow, can you see that? I really like the blushes, to be honest. Wow, this is so pretty. I mean, in real life, it looks way too much. But to make you guys see on camera, I have to put a lot more. I haven't gone out of my comfort zone. I feel like this looks also good on my skin. I mean, on my face. Now let's try out the proper, proper pinkish shades. Uh, I'm scared. I'll start with the lighter version. So wow, this legit looks pink. 
Wow, can you see that? Can you see the pink color? It is not patchy. You guys have seen this palette is not patchy at all. I mean, the moment I'm applying it, it is blending way easily on my skin and diffusing so much. It gives a sort of a good look proper pinkish pinkish and this is a little peachish pinkish brownish now the deep dark pink shade intimidating let's apply okay this is pigmented people this is a lot more pigmented i would say it is looking really good to me i would say that i i am really impressed with this one okay so i don't think i'm gonna put up any bronzer today because i'm really feeling this pink blush i don't want to be sun kissed today i want to embrace this blush now let's apply this terrifying highlighter it's so white it just freaks me out so much wow look at the difference wow but it is the right amount what the hell i was always thinking that it would look so bad on my skin but somehow i'm pulling it off but on the brighter side it does like it highlights as well as it is not like super whitish sort of ghostly sort of highlighter you know what i mean right i don't think uh but i do want to believe it will work on every skin tone but i don't think it will work on really deep dusky skin tone but if you are of my shade i'm like a mediumish sort of shade it can work on your skin and also for fair so it will obviously work it is not the champagne shade though it is a little bit lighter than the champagne shade and also i'm not going to apply it on my face like on the cheeks and so because i have a highlighter to review after this so that's why and also you don't have to like build up a lot after one to two times you get the vibrant color like look at this we now left with the eyeshadow which looks like this okay so let's apply this creases are literally bothering me up i think i'm gonna fill up with the eyeshadow but before that i want to apply this and i think i'm gonna go for a pinkish greenish sort of eye look today because i haven't given my hair color some attention and before it fades away it is going to fade away literally after two to three washes so before that let me just create a look giving them a little bit of attention so this is a little bit of foilish glittery shadow and just now i literally swatched it you guys can see it is pigmented i just wanted to swatch and see whether it is pigmented or not so that will i need to apply a pink matte shadow before applying this that's why you know that i swatched it a little bit so it does have a little bit of kickback on the pan this shimmer shadow by the way the blushes everything is fine highlighter even only the eyeshadow Ooh. It's like obviously pigmented but like the formula is kind of like okayish. Obviously it's like a palette with a lot of things like highlighter, blush, eyeshadow in order to perfect a formula. I mean you can't do it on a multi-purpose palette, right? So the formula won't be like the best one but it is pigmented, you guys can see that. And also this feels like a eyeshadow topper. It's not like a fully eyeshadow but the blushes are like spot on, you guys can see that. And let me tell you, all the blushes are freaking matte. On the pan as well as on my cheeks, they are freaking matte. I think a lot of you guys, when I review a bronzer or a blush, uh, you guys ask me that is it matte or not? I think I mentioned that but still I'm happy to help as always. So this time I like made it a point that I have to add this extra line. It's really a buildable formula as i am building the product up it is like getting more vibrant and prominent okay so you know what i'm gonna just go and do my eye look and come back there are two more products left some of them are new launches so wait for it don't you dare skip okay i i know it kind of looks a little bit dramatic but you guys can take it i know <laughs> so this was not what was back there in my head i mean without putting this green glitter thing i wanted to put rhinestones that i got <laughs> but i thought it will be too much as well as i'll take a lot more time to film this video because i already lost one hour <laughs> still salty about it anyway so we are going to deal with this i think it looks kind of okay so i have two more products why am i looking at me i'm so obsessed with my face <laughs> so i have two products left one is highlighter another one is lip gloss so let's start with the lip gloss because while doing my eyes the mirror was up close and i could literally see the crustiest lip i had I don't want to show you guys. I know somebody will report this video if I show my crustiest lip. The product that I'm talking about is this is a new, new launch, okay? And I'm really liking it. I mean, I did not apply it on my lips. This is going to be my first time, but I did swatch it. And I even put it up on the Instagram story. So please follow if you want to know sneak peek of the products that I'm going to review. Product is this one. This is NY Bay's Gloss Getter Lip Gloss. This is the newest lip gloss launch from NY Bay. By the way, NY Bay is doing kind of launches, a lot of new launches they had recently, and some of them are quite good. I have been reviewing a lot of their new launches. I have reviewed in the past as well as there are some coming really really exciting things so stay tuned so this retails for 220 and i think i got it on discount it has a lot of claim which i'm gonna read later on first crack open and show you guys the bottle i am in love with the graphics and the packaging okay so can you see that how pretty and cute this is like i am living for this details okay this golden thing with the white thing i know this is a very weird way to explain a product but I know you're gonna get it. I chose the shade 7 Caramel Cashew because I am a brown hoe. This is the shade. It's, it's like a reddish nude shade. I think I'm gonna put on a lip liner and then apply this lip gloss. I don't wanna apply any lipstick today because this is freaking pigmented and I want to see the color, how glossy it is and how 
sheer coverage or full coverage this one is let's see the claims though so it says glossy finish i mean lip gloss should always give a glossy finish you know if it's a lip gloss and it's matte then we have a problem my dear low to medium coverage pearly satin finish lightweight we are gonna see everything let's first apply did you did you hear that sound that's so good <laughs> asmr check okay we have the lip liner on let's apply the gloss Ooh, it perfectly matches the lip liner. I didn't know that. The shine is like okay. It's not like too shiny like insides. And I think I like this more. I do like the coverage to be honest. It said low to medium coverage. I think it's not low. It's medium coverage. I like this. This makes my lip look fuller. Okay, I really like this. This formula and also by the way, ooh, the smell is so good. I'm gonna tell you guys the smell. It feels like badam, cashew, chocolate. I'm having basically a ice cream or maybe a cookie that smell kind of thing I, I i can't figure it out but it's somewhere around there the scent is really good i don't think though it goes with the eyes but individually this gloss is really good it is going to be in my kit 24 7. this is so freaking lightweight it's like thin finish and that's why it feels so good and also i feel like i'm eating cookie this smell on my lips i want to test it but please don't i don't want to kill people through my reviews Finally, the last product. We finally came to the last product. I feel like it's going on for an eternity. So the last product is this one. Again, a NY Bay product. So this is NY Bay's Shimmer Drops Liquid Highlighter. So apparently this is a liquid highlighter. I was so mesmerized by the packaging. Yes, NY Bay is really killing with the packaging, I think. I'm going to show you guys. Look at this. This looks so like not common not in the market sort of a thing the moment i saw this on the app i had to get it i knew i had to get it so it apparently retails for 249 i did i yeah i paid the full amount there was no discount freaking no the shade i got is 03 golden glam they had like three more shades i felt like this is the nearest to my skin tone i mean the champagne shade i look for in every highlighter i think this is closest to that it's like a golden undertone finish i'm gonna say it kind of looks pretty warm through the packaging but i don't know what's inside what are the claims so it says easily blendable light wet high shine moisturizing effect paraben free quality free all that stuff so it is uh like a wand like a concealer or a lip gloss that sort of thing that excites me way more and whoa i think it is going to match me this is like a proper proper champagne shade i nailed it i think so one more thing i want to test that as you guys can see i have fully powdered base all set everything this is a liquid product let me see generally liquid doesn't work well on top of powdered base but it does if you apply it correctly and also depends on the quality so let's see little tiny bit i'm gonna apply i'm gonna use my fingers only don't look at my nails don't oh i mean this is not blinding people i had a little more expectation what the hell do i apply way too less but with this amount swiss beauty like makes my face blinding Look, now it looks blending. If I blend it out, I obviously will blend it out, now. So, if I blend it out, it loses its coverage. It's not giving any pigment. I mean, I can see a little bit of shine and glitters. Oh my god, this is, I think, not the one for me. Yeah, why it's like this? I was so excited about this one. What the hell? Let me see. Maybe it's not picking up by the camera. I'm looking only at the camera. Let me see through the mirror. Actually, you know what? <laughs> this doesn't have any sort of pigment. No, you're good to go. If you miss this one, think that you are grateful that your money is saved. <laughs> Also, little note, I mean, can you guys see here, like right here, the base started falling off. You can literally see the original skin over here. It did not properly blend. Can you see that? There's like a mark over here. The base just got distorted. This is what I mean with a bad formula. Nah, I don't think this is worth it. You can't basically make your product work with a attractive packaging. This is what it is. If you want good product, your product quality has to be good. Anyway, I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter from this Mars palette again because my cheeks are not glowing and I want to glow. Okay, we are finally at the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope you liked it. All the products will be linked in the description below for you guys to check out. Go check it out. And also, if you like the video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, people. Subscribe, please. If you are watching, liking my vibe, go subscribe. Okay, now finally is the time when I have to say I'm going to go now. <laughs> but I really do want to hang out because I'm going to be alone now after each lunch alone. <laughs> but still, I have to say goodbye because you guys are busy, not me. You people have other priorities. And for me, you are my priority. I want to hang out all day, every day. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I'm going to go now. I'll meet you guys in my next video. Until then, be happy and bye. Bye. Ooh, I'm going to pull up study to the side. She keep coming at me every day and night Yeah, yeah, yeah ooh When I let that total on my way, get it right Yeah, yeah Break bread and break hearts Don't get me started now Break laws, got love, child Oh, sorry, tweaking now